Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today we're going to look at how to sync your Google Drive with any Ubuntu based distribution. Now, I am running Ubuntu GNOME 1504, but uh, like I said, just about any uh, Ubuntu distro this will work with. Now we're using two tools here. One is called Grive2 and the other is called Grive Tools. And a little bit of history behind this. Uh, I previously did a video sometime last year how to use uh, the original Grive to uh, to do the syncing for you. Unfortunately earlier this year Google changed the way it did its authorization and then Grive had not been updated in a couple of years so um, you know Grive was no longer working for for uh, doing all the syncing. Fortunately somebody came along um, uh, did a little bit of forking of Grive and uh, and updated it so uh, now um, you know things are good to go again I guess you could say uh, for setting this up it's gonna be real simple um, and I will leave instructions down below in the video description but uh, you're gonna to want to open up your terminal and there's two PPAs we're gonna add here uh, first one is this one right here and then so we're going to add that one so let's add that one first put in our password okay and then we're going to add this second PPA Update. And just sit back and wait while it does its little update regime. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to add, we're adding Grive 2, which is this right here which is Grive and then Grive Tools. And basically Grive Tools is a graphical front end for Grive. Now if you prefer to work just from the command line you can just add the um, uh, Grive 2 and uh, boom go go that route but uh, you know a lot of new users are going to want to use the uh, the Grive Tools for the for the graphical front end so we'll go ahead and add that as well. Let's hit enter and Yes, we want to add this. And so just let it install and update. All right, so all of that has installed. So let's go and we can close our terminal up. Don't need that anymore. Now we're going to need to open up Grive Setup. So let me type in Grive and there we go, Grive Setup. So let's click on that. Okay. So it's going to open up a browser window for us so that we can go and authenticate this tool. And let me drag this over here. And as you can see, it opened up this page here in Google. Uh, Grive would like to view your email address, basic profile, view and manage spreadsheets, blah, blah, blah. Uh, view and manage your documents and files in Google Drive. So we're going to copy that code, come over here, and we'll paste that in. And boom, it is set up. And uh, as you can see, let me, let me back up here to... Uh, my home folder you can see there's now a Google Drive folder set up and the first time you after setting this up it's gonna take a while to um, it'll take a while to populate the uh, you know all the stuff that you've got stored on Google Drive but uh, give it some time and uh, it'll sync all right my system has finished syncing with Google Drive I rebooted just so that I could show you this um, uh, I now have a Google Drive icon on my panel um, and you will need to uh, uh, to reboot your system so that you'll be able to see that uh, be able to see that icon 
and uh, now if you click on that you have a couple of different options there you can sync now do auto sync visit your Google Drive folder go to Google Drive on the web some preferences and under preferences you can uh, start Google Drive when you start your computer automatic sync with Google Drive uh, show on-screen notifications and if you have a light um, uh, panel you go and click this prefer light icon theme and you can see it makes the uh, the Google Drive icon dark but we don't need that since I've got a dark panel on top if you click on the check storage it takes you to uh, uh, to Google Drive and tells you uh, you know this is how many gigs of storage you have left here's what you've used uh, that sort of thing and uh, that about finishes up this tutorial I realized one realized it wasn't real long but uh, not a whole lot we had to cover in it hopefully for those of you that use Google Drive for online storage this is uh, this has helped you out uh, as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below give us a big old thumbs up thumbs down let me know what you thought of the video uh, if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I hope to see you all on the next video thanks for watching